Hello everyone, welcome back to Nicholas's Cars. I'm back, and I've been, especially been on the other channel, the Nicholas's Animals channel. I haven't been there in a while, and uh, sorry, it took kind of a break. But I'm back now, and I also missed one video technically last week. I think we're going to get back to it right now, because now we're doing the next car news wrap-up video. First off, let's talk about the Porsche GT3 Touring. And uh, the Porsche GT3, which I covered in the video up there, is um, the very nice, extremely uh, well, good driving supercar, sports car, whatever, it's kind of in between. The Porsche makes uh, off the 911. It's probably inferior to the 911s they make right now. It's if definitely one I would buy. It might not, well, actually as expensive as the Porsche Turbo, the 911 Turbo, but it might be a much better car than the Turbo because of its sound and its driving experience. But the um, Porsche GT3, really cool. And But a very popular version is the uh, GT3 Touring, which came out with, with the last generation GT3. And it was essentially a Porsche GT3 without the wing. A lot of people don't like the wing on the GT3 and GT3 RS, which I like. The GT3 Touring is a very good looking car, kind of inspired by the earlier Porsche 911, 911R, which kind of became like a million dollar classic for no real reason. And um, the GT3 Touring is also now selling for tremendous amounts of money, especially in nice colors. That it's about sending, selling for much more than the cost new, which is uh, pretty surprising actually. But I mean, it's a really, it's a um, really cool car. But the new one has the same stats. As so if you want to watch them get that video, it's like around 500 horsepower. Um, you can get a six-speed manual or eight-speed automatic, except in California, because I guess it's not legal to have fun in California because you're not allowed to. Uh, you can't buy a manual because of noise regulations. So uh, there, there's a, there's a, that's a spoil, spoiling the fun, isn't it? Especially because the GT3 is very common around here. I have uh, seen a lot of GT3s around here, especially GT3, GT3s and GT3 Tourings. And um, they're really cool cars, so it's too bad. Uh, just go to like Nevada and buy a manual and bring it here and then. Alright, next up we have to talk about Ferrari's new uh, V6 supercar, which is coming on June 24th, which will be pretty soon when you see this video. And it's going to have supposedly a twin turbo V6 to a hybrid mounted to electric motors, which is like not probably going to be a good car, but it's not going to be something I really want. I just don't, I just think Ferrari should continue at 8 cylinders and obviously 12 cylinders and some of the other cars. I really just don't, I really don't think of, I mean, they're obviously the Dino, which is a famous V6 Ferrari, and a pretty good car anyway. I'm not a big fan of smaller engines and turbocharging and all this stuff and hybridization, which is not like bad on cars, but it will uh, no, not be as good as 458. And I think this new car will just make the value of the 458 shoot up more, because the 458 kind of proving itself, at, despite it being kind of an older car, as a real classic and maybe one of the last uh, somewhat affordable Ferraris that like really last. It's like the last fast and affordable Ferrari, it's every other classic Ferraris. Uh, very expensive as you probably know, they've always been expensive. But yeah, I don't, I'm not, I should compete with cars like the Maserati MC20, which it should be similar to, and McLaren Artura, and everything else that's coming out, which has a V6 now, which is like everything. Unfortunately, uh, pretty disappointing. Alright, next up we have a uh, talk about some cool stuff for sale. And we have a, uh, first off, uh, on, bring, on the website, auction website, bring a trailer, we have a Midnight Purple. 1999, Midnight Purple 2, 1999, Nissan Skyline GTR V Spec. And uh, that's a pretty long name, but this is the R34 GTR, it's fully street legal. It has a show or display exemption, so you can only drive like 2,500 miles a year. It's not really that bad considering that you wouldn't want to drive that much. It has about 40,000 miles on the odometer, and um, it's in the probably the coolest color ever, Midnight Purple 2, it's called. Um, the G uh, color with the GTR. Um, the Skyline, with some of the older Skyline GTRs, you can't get the newer one, but unfortunately. But um, that's a really cool example of a car, and I'm not exactly, I'm not sure though whether it's worth that much, because whether it's worth as much as it is selling right, as right, is right now, because that's the time this video was filmed, uh, June 16th, that the car was two, at $253,000, and by the time this car sells or gets bid to, it'll probably be a lot more. Uh, that is a lot of money, $250,000. You buy a lot of cars for that money, but on the other hand, if you're gonna have a really unique ride, I mean, the R34 isn't that fast, you can make it fast. And um, it would be a lot more unique than 488, 458, any of those kind of cars, perfect Huracan, uh, all those kind of ones. So it wouldn't be a bad ride, but it's probably not the fastest thing in the world. And uh, yeah, I think these GTRs are a, bit, a little bit too expensive. All right, next up we have another very rare, very expensive car for sale, and I imagine it's gonna be one of the most expensive cars ever sold. It's a McLaren F1, chassis 029, really, uh, like, actually I was gonna say cool, but more interesting. Interesting is a code for saying I don't really like the color. Um, a McLaren F1 and uh, kind of like a brown color, which I don't really like on any car. And it spent most of its life in a Japanese car collection, which is why it has 240 miles, which is insane. Even for a McLaren F1, which is the car, cars that are generally not driven much. Um, it's going to be sold at auction in Pebble Beach this summer. And uh, I hopefully get to Pebble Beach so I can see that thing. Because 
Uh, 240 miles is crazy. It's still got the original tires, got original everything. Um, I imagine, I don't know how much this car is going to sell, probably 20 million, maybe 30 million dollars. I think 30, 35 million would not be impossible for how much, for considering that even F1 crash history can still sell for 15 million dollars. One with 240 miles, obviously you're going to get a lot more. Alright, next up we have our last story, or last stuff, uh, last stuff, whatever. Um, we have Ken Block's 914 horsepower Puma truck, and uh, Ken Block's Puma truck, you've probably heard of it though, was, in, was starred in a really cool drifting video, I think it was in China, and um, it, it, it was a, it's a 70s F-150, it's been lowered all the way to the ground with a wide body kit, actual beadlock wheels to keep the tires from like slightly coming off when you're drifted. Um, it's got the three and a half liter twin turbo V6 from the 4 GT LM, which is a pretty special car. The four wheel drive, 916 horsepower, like 600 pounds of torque, so supercar fast. Obviously, actually kind of a lot cooler than supercar. It's such a unique thing, and it, the price of one right now is going to set you back about the price of it is going to set you back about 1.1 million dollars, which is a lot of money, but it's a uh, the truck costs over a million and a half dollars to build, so apparently, so I guess they may even be losing money on the sale. But it's such a crazy wild truck. I mean, if you had a bunch of money, yes, it's, uh, if you had a lot of money, this would make quite the unique ride, and I would love to, I would love to buy this if I had a lot of money. I would, in fact, I would buy everything on today's car to drive out if I had a lot of money, but I don't have that much money yet. So, um, I guess that's it. I will see you soon, and, uh, by the way, make sure, if you want to, uh, you can follow my Instagram now, and also on Flickr, where I post photos of cars, and I take a lot more car photos. Hopefully, I take some more photos of, like, nature and stuff, and animals and recues, and all that, too. And, um, yeah, you can check it out. I post it every day, and I will see you next time.